So we're back again, it's Tom, the Coleman Connors, professional street basketball player and multiple Guinness World Record holder. We're gonna do a tutorial today. Uh, we're gonna be looking at backing someone down and a spin move, okay? And then a fadeaway jump shot. How to do it all in one motion. We're gonna break it down nice and simple. Let's get straight into the tutorial. Okay, so pick a side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick the left side down here, okay? So, what we're gonna be looking to try and break down is, obviously if a defender now is behind you, okay, and you're backing him down, okay? You're coming down here, or anywhere, it can be even out here if you want, it doesn't matter, I'm just gonna show you a little bit closer to the hoop, okay? So we're here, okay? What we're really looking for now, okay, is almost a, a, a sort of a spin move, okay? But then we're looking at fading away. Okay, and how do we do the whole thing? Okay, so here, you're backing someone down. Okay, you stop, you've got a fade away. The fade away gets you the extra foot or two that you need. All right, so the defender is not blocking the shot. Okay, so obviously that's a little bit slow motion there. So imagine the defender's here, okay? You spin, as you spin, you're, you're getting your hands ready for a jump shot. But the difference is, you're gonna be pushing off your left leg and shooting. Okay, so it's all about sort of backing down the defender, spin, turn, you've got that jump shot right there. So, it's a move that obviously, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of uh, professional basketball players use, okay? So you're here, imagine here, okay? As you spin, you're trying to set yourself up for a shot. So, even if that is, imagine getting a board basketball, you're setting your feet, you're setting your hands for a shot, okay? So you're setting yourself and you've got a jump shot, okay? What we're trying to do on a spin move, okay, trying to show you from here, is here, as you spin it around, you're setting yourself up for the shot. So your hands now are in position to get the shot off. You know you're gonna pull the shot off, okay? The only difference is, off your left leg, you're gonna push back and do a fadeaway. Okay, so there's a two-footed jump shot, okay? Uh, sorry, fadeaway, okay, as you jump back. But now we're gonna be doing it, what I prefer, and you get much more distance. When you go for a jump shot, you come back and step. You've got maybe another a foot. So let me just try and show you from here. If you now push back off, jump off your left, like a step, then jump back, and you've got a, a fade away. Let me do that again, okay? So here, you've got a nice fade away jump shot there, okay? So, it, it gets you more um, distance to create space, okay? So, let's just go through it one more time, okay? You're backing down the defender here, okay? You're gonna, as you turn, you grab the basketball, two hands. As you grab the basketball, you're already in the shooting position, okay? So you're backing down, bam. As you turn, I'm now got on a, I'm on a perfect jump shot. Imagine if I'm just doing a free throw, boom. Difference is, Okay, I'm gonna take a step back, and you've got a fadeaway. Basketball's here. You're backing down the fender, okay? Bam, you've got it nice. Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Kevin Durant, okay? So many players, hundreds of players, okay? Same thing, back down, back down. Doesn't matter if you're here, doesn't matter if you're out here, okay? You're backing down as you turn. Okay, you've got that fade away. Spin move, back down, back down, fade away, fade away jump shot, okay? Doesn't matter what side you're on. Okay, so imagine we're this side, okay? Doesn't matter again, you can be backing down this side, okay? You can even come back here and fade away this time. It depends on what your, your style of shooting is. So you're here, obviously this wrong side of, of the basketball net, okay? It doesn't mean that you can't spin, turn, and shoot a fade away. It doesn't make any difference. Even if you do it this way, okay, and you turn, and you've got to fade away that side. You'll definitely favor one side or the other when you do this. I always prefer the left side to do a fade away, okay? Doesn't mean you can't do it on the right side, but I'm, in a game, I'm always trying to teach you in my tutorials that get to the positions you like on a basketball court. No one ever talks about this in tutorials online or coaches. They just show you to do the same thing from different multiple spots. 
Go to where you like to be and you will hit more shots, get more confidence and you'll have a better game, okay? So you're backing down here, okay? Same principle. You're now in a position where you can shoot, but you're gonna be probably pushing off your right leg to do a fadeaway, okay? You can see already, okay? My preferred side is the other side. As I turn, Okay, so we're gonna move the camera now so you can see a different angle of it, okay? But, you know, you're backing down the defender, okay? You're backing down, I'm gonna back it down from this side, okay? Here, as you turn, you're in now that position where you've got that perfect jump shot. Make sense? The difference is we're gonna take one step, fade. You've created space, you're backing down him, bam! You've, got, you've created so much space, if you just master that jump shot, you've got it nice, okay? Doesn't matter where you are, okay? You're backing down, okay? Step out, jump shot. It's, it's a go-to move, it's a fantastic basketball move. It's a, there's no street ball involved in this, guys. It's just about trying to get some buckets. Let's move this camera. Okay, so we'll let, we've moved the camera now to um, a much closer position. Okay, so again, I'm here, I'm backing down, okay? Get, make sure you, you push in here. As you push, that's when you go. Here, move, jump shot, okay? I'm obviously not doing this as fast as I can. This is a tutorial just to show you what to do, okay? So you're here on a defender, okay? Bam, okay? Push away, push away. So imagine someone's here, okay? Stop, turn, I'm in a great normal jump shot. The difference was one step, Fade away. If you don't know how to do a fade away, please check out my other, tu uh, other tutorial, how to perfect a fade away jump shot. Okay, so it doesn't matter really, like I said, you're backing someone down here. Okay, bang, turn, jump shot, fade. So remember the mechanics. You're backing someone down, step one. Okay, as you back down, grab the basketball, in the position, you know all you have to do is turn and you're ready for the shot. You don't have to move your hands to get them in the right position, okay? As soon as you're here, it's ready to roll. I've got a jump shot. Left foot backwards. Jump away from the basket. Fade away. Okay? Back down. Here. Fade. Okay? Pretty simple once you get used to it. People are scoring 20 points by doing this again. One move, one move, okay? Bang, turn, fade away. Let's try one more angle, guys. One last angle, let's go. All right, let's try and pull off a few for you now. Okay, so here, backing down, spin. Let's go again, repetition, 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 spin. Okay? Same thing again. Here, turn. Okay, let's step out a little bit, okay? So, you're here now, okay? You're backing down, same principle. It's exactly the same technique. You obviously just have to put a bit more power into that jump shot. You can't just, just come and do this move straight away. One, you have to be a reasonably good shooter. Okay, but it's just technique, okay? Because as long as you're here and the defender doesn't know you're gonna do a spin move, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna have to create space here. Now, if you jump off your left leg, like I said, and you create space, you're gonna create another foot. You're gonna create another, uh, you know, maybe two feet. Okay, so back down the defender, spin move, fadeaway jump shot, okay? Yes, streetball is my game. It's how I've been living for 15 years of, of doing exhibition games and streetball things and TV and entertainment side of basketball. But I've also got a level two professional basketball qualification. Um, so, you know, with shooting and scoring and running and, and actually, um, you know, the, the fundamentals of the game. You have to learn the fundamentals of the game before you become a great street ball player, guys, I really would suggest to learn shooting, handling, you know, left, right hands, 
uh, dribbling, all kinds of stuff like that. Okay, so we're not only doing street ball moves and freestyle moves and stuff like that, we're actually going to get into you know, fundamental basketball as well, okay? Because you can't pull off some of these cool things unless you've got these fundamentals. When you're backing down someone, the only difference is when you when you when you're a street ball player is, you know, I'm going to be adding a little bit of a little bit of a, a little something before I fade away and jump shot. Okay? You might be here and you might be pulling off some other moves and bits and pieces, and you might resort to the fade away jump shot. Ultimately, it's the fundamentals that make it exciting because you can, you can add your flavor to it. Hopefully that's really helped you guys. Um, please subscribe, me and my family really appreciate it. Let's keep growing together. Head over to my Facebook and YouTube. Um, you're on my YouTube, sorry, my Facebook and Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. You get a lot more different varieties on those guys, more trick shots, little freestyle street ball moves, things like that. You do get a few tutorials, but make sure you support me on all platforms. I'll be back here very, very soon for another tutorial. I see you later, peeps. Hey, bye, 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 bye.